day everyone, my name is Arma and welcome to PLE News. In this video, we will talk about analog multimeter and its parts. Let us identify first what is a multimeter. A multimeter is a measuring instrument that can measure multiple electrical properties. It can measure voltage, resistance, and current, in which case it is also known as volt or milliameter or VOM. It is sometimes called multi-tester. There are two types of multi-tester or multimeter. The first one is the analog multimeter and the second one is the digital multimeter. Both has different advantages and disadvantages but we will not going to discuss that here yet but if you are planning to buy multimeters I suggest you have them both here are the basic parts of an analog multimeter we have the pointer the scale the zero ohm adjuster the zero position adjuster the range selector knob and the test probes. Under the test probes, we have test pins. We're going to discuss this one by one. The first one that we're going to discuss is the pointer. It is usually located in this part of the multimeter. Okay, what is a pointer? Pointer is the needle-shaped rod that moves over the scale of a meter. It is mechanically connected to the, to the moving coil. It indicates the measured values on the multimeter. Another knowledge, the movement of the pointer is called deflection. The next one is the scale. The scale is usually located in this part or surface of the multimeter. It is a series of marking used for reading the value of quantity. It consists of numbers and different sizes of lines. It can have different types of scale for voltage and current readings. The scales have mostly linear which mean equal division for resistance. The next one is the zero ohm adjustment knob. It is located here at this part of the multimeter. It is used to zero in the pointer before measuring the resistance. The process of zeroing the pointer before measuring resistance is called calibration. The next one is the zero position adjuster or the adjustment screw. It is usually located here at the coil of the pointer. It makes it possible to adjust the pointer to the zero position of the scale. Usually, it is used when the tester's power is weak to the point that its needle can reach the zero during calibration. The next one is the range selector knob. It is located here at the bottom center of the multimeter. It is also called the selector switch. It is used to select different functions and range of the multimeter. The range is located here around the range selector knob. Next one is the test probe. It is located here and sometimes it is usually detachable. The red test probe is the positive and the black test probe is the negative usually. It is used to connect the circuit to the electrical components being tested. Alright, and those are the basic parts and function of the multimeter. To recap those parts, we have the pointer, the scale, the zero ohm adjuster, the zero position adjuster, the range selector knob, and the test probes. Well, that concludes our lesson. 
For our next lesson, we are going to read or to understand how to read analog multimeter. We hope you learned a lot. Thank you and God bless.